Hey, North. This is Mrs. Vernier here. And we want to just say we're really excited to see you and we want to welcome you back to North. I know that you could be feeling a lot of different things right now. Some of you may be excited, some might be a little bit nervous, but we really want to make sure you are as prepared as possible to come back and to communicate as often as possible. So I'm going to go through this slide deck just to really talk about the schedule and then a couple other little things. So the first thing, when you come back, this is what you need to bring. We're BYOD now, which means you need to bring your device. And with that device, you need to make sure that it's charged. So make sure every night that you're charging your device and you're ready to go for the next day. Also bring a water bottle. Our drinking fountains are closed. We do have the kind of fountain where you can like fill up a bottle, but make sure you have one and you bring it with you. Also make sure you remember your planner. We handed those out at the beginning of the year when you picked up your books and materials. That's the passbook you can use to um, go into the hallway for the bathroom or to go see another teacher. So make sure you have that plan book. Also, and the most important thing, don't forget your mask. So the week of the 25th, which is our first week back, really is a little bit, um, has an adjusted schedule. So you can see on this sheet right here in front of you that we have ninth graders only coming on Monday. And that's really a, like a get to know the building and give them a chance to kind of go walk through their schedule and make sure they feel comfortable. On Tuesday, January 26th, we've got the 11th graders. And that's for traditional and 1GP, 1GB virtual students. And it's an opportunity to take the PSAT and MSQT um, test. Wednesday, um, during hybrid, Wednesday is a Zoom schedule, so that's going to remain a Zoom schedule. So everyone will be at home doing synchronous sessions one through seven. Thursday and Friday start our hybrid schedule. Um, cohort A will come in the morning and cohort B will come in the afternoon. Let's talk about what that looks like. So let's say your cohort A. This is what your schedule looks like when it, it comes to coming to North. The building opens at 7.50 a.m. That's 10 minutes before class starts. Um, so you can see first hour on Monday and Thursday, um, you start at 8 a.m. and you go one, two, three. Both of those days, Monday and Thursday, you end school at 10.40. So as soon as you're done, we're asking you to grab your stuff and head out. On Tuesday and Friday, I really wanna point those two days out because those days are backwards. So you start at 8 a.m. in seventh hour and you go seven, six, five, four. Because there's four periods, you're gonna end a little bit later. So those days end at 11.35. Wednesday, like I said before, is your speed schedule. You're gonna do one through seven. They're 30 minute classes and that's on Zoom. Tutorial wise, we do want you to come to tutorial. The only day that you don't need to come to tutorial is Wednesday. So Wednesday, skip those tutorials. If you're cohort B, it's the opposite. The building still opens 10 minutes before class starts, but now you're starting in the afternoon. You can notice when you look at the schedule that Monday and Thursday starts at 1135. That means at 1125, the doors will open and let you in. On, third, on Tuesday and Friday, you're going to start, not start till 12.30. So this day, the doors open at 12.20. You end all days at 3.10 when you um, come to North. Also, tutorials are the same for Cohort B, just like Cohort A. You don't need to come on Wednesday, but we do want to see you the other days that you have tutorial. And just like Cohort A, Tuesdays and Fridays, you go backwards. So you start at 12.30, you start in third hour, and then go second hour, first hour. At 310, we are asking that you collect your things and head on out. Lunch is on your own. The facilities at North will not be open for you to eat lunch at North. So make sure that you eat before you come or eat after you leave, if you're depending on whether you're cohort A or cohort B. But the big thing to remember is students must eat off campus. We will be a distribution center for meals. So that's going to be on Wednesdays still. So you might be wondering, I've talked about how you can come into the building 10 minutes early, but what doors can I use? So this map shows north and you can see the front of the buildings at the top of the screen and all of these yellow boxes, those are the entrances that will be open for you to come into the building. So almost all of them are open, but let's go through those. You can see in the top right hand corner up here, this is where the cars like your um, parent or someone might be dropping you off. And so the first one I'm going to show you is the science building entrance. So you can come in the science building. You could also come in in the doors next to the main office. You could come in in the um, 
a building. Those are the doors right in front of the gym. So all those doors will be open. Or you could come in the back of the building. So you could come in and see building right next to the choir room. If you have band or orchestra or choir right away, that might be a door you want to use. You could come in through the door that's closest to the Wedgwood gate in the back. Or you could come in um, in a building from the back right next to the art rooms. So those are your six spots where you can enter the building. Just like now in remote learning, we really want you to use your camera. I know there are times that you might not feel comfortable doing that, but we really ask that you connect with the teacher to talk through those reasons. Also, if you do have your camera off, we should be able to see a profile picture of you that's school appropriate. We're really excited to see you. We're really excited to be back. We're working to make this as safe as possible. Please reach out if you have any questions.